Yeah, I was watching this video by um, Elder Pasitao entitled, The Lord is Not the Author of Confusion. And that's taken from scripture. And um, he was talking about, you know, these women that some of them are becoming a nuisance on our channels. And I have to totally agree. Now, most of them I catch them, but every now and then a few of them slip through the cracks talking nothing but bullshit. Now, as, mon as many as I, I'm going to catch, right, on my channels talking BS, I'm just going to boot you out of my channel, okay? If you, if you come on my channel, you're a woman and you're talking BS, I'm just going to boot you out of my channel, okay? I'm going to uh, go to your channel and I'm going to block you, okay? So you won't be able to come back on my channel talking nonsense because right now we got zero tolerance for any foolishness from you women, man, okay? Furthermore, this reminds me of when the same Elder Apostar gave the edict at the school in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut for no more women. Okay, now we used to have, when we had the school in Bridgeport, Connecticut, that's why we can do that. Okay, because we've seen it before. When we had the school in Bridgeport, Connecticut, you, ha you had a few sisters up in there and they were bringing nothing but confusion. Okay, and they were some of them were trying to bring in whoredom into the school. Okay, until Elder Apostar said, look, no more women in the school period okay and I was totally with that you had certain guys who got offended by that and that was one of the things that led them to fall out the truth fall out the school and fall out the truth okay so I see that happening all over again but this time with our pages because our pages is like a school now the Apostle Paul clearly said that you women are to keep silence and not to bring confusion now, a lot of you sisters are unruly, man. A good bit of you sisters, you, you know, you, you're doing the right thing. You know, you're staying quiet, you're staying respectful, you're staying humble. But there's some of you sisters, man, that you, you, you're you just totally out of order. You, you're unruly, okay? And like I said, if I spot you on my channel, man, I'm going to just boot you through the uprights, all right? <laughs> That's the old saying, boot you through the uprights. Like in football, when they, to, to score the final point after the, uh, do a touchdown, they score the final point where the, the guy who kicks the ball, he kicks it right through the goalpost. Well, there you go. That's what you're going to get. Spiritually, you're going to get booted through the up, uprights. I mean, I'm going to kick you off my channel and block you, okay? So you better come correct, man. Anyway, I'm going to play a part of this video, and I want to show you an example because we got a lot of simps too. And like Apostle Olatar said, it's, it's you men because you got a lot of simps in Israel, man. All right, I'm just telling you like it is. You got a lot of guys who got who still got their head up the so-called black woman's ass, who still got their head up the so-called woman's ass. All right, a lot of simp's man, and you're gonna get booted too, okay? Cause you ain't in the right spirit, man. All right. Anyway, let's let me uh, play some of this video here. The Lord is not the author of confusion. Giving all praises to you. How about Shemi? How shy about Shemi? Kakwadash. And this is from uh, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33, which says, For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Now, Paul makes this statement. And the next verse, the next line, he says, Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. The law. Now, what's so hard about that to understand? And why are you women being so rebellious? And you know who you are. I'm not going to name names here. You know who you are. Why is that so hard to understand? Why can't you just be quiet? And like Apostle Elder said, he, and he said in this, this video, you can come on the, on the comment board and say Shalom to an apostle or Shalom to an elder and just keep it moving, man. All right, we don't need you to come on our comment boards. You can ask a question, but we don't need you to come on our comment boards trying to break down scripture, trying to interpret scripture. Okay, that job was given to us. Okay, we can handle it. Thank you very much. Okay, we don't need your input in trying to interpret scripture. 
That power is not given to you, okay? That power is given to us men, okay? Now, there's been a lot of uh, confusion going on, you know, on YouTube with the different Israelite groups, Rashad Netter and different uh, beliefs that people... That's another thing with Sarnetta. Now, he's talking about God got his back, but why does he have a woman on the panel spewing out her comments and making and, and interpreting scripture and, uh, and basically talking, right? Why does he have a woman on his panel doing that when clearly, according to the scriptures, that's totally out of order, okay? But once again, it proves that Sarnetta don't know what he's talking about, talking about God got his back. <laughs> We have, which is complete confusion. We have. God got your back, bro. God said that a woman is to, supposed to keep silence in the churches. Now that word church is from the Greek word ecclesia, which means called out. So any group of individuals, especially men that, are, that have come together and discuss in scripture, if there's a woman present, she's supposed to be quiet. That's according to what God said in the Bible. Okay. First Corinthians, the 14th chapter. So by you having a woman on your panel and she's spewing out her opinions and trying to break down scripture, interpret scripture, that's totally out of order with God. But then you're going to say God got your back. You don't know what you're talking about, man. The 100% truth, knowing that we're Israelites, knowing that the, the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, is coming to destroy this place, we know and believe through the scriptures that Babylon the Great is America, that the the, the nation that's in, in the the, the uh, power seat are the Edomites. We know that for a fact. We know that Edomites cannot make it. Edomites cannot be be a part of this this uh, <clears throat> this circle. You know, straight up, he can't be a part of this circle, nor, nor any other nation. Now they can learn their place. Like uh, Edom might have told Jake, you know, you got to know your place. Well, Esau got to know his place. His place, he's going to be under us. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I looked up the word confusion. And uh, it's in the Old Testament and the, and the New Testament. It's in the New Testament three times. Acts 19, verse 29, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33, and uh, James 3 and 6. And uh, <clears throat> now when you click on the word confusion... Because there's confusion going on. And, um, like, for example, the women that come on our pages, you're to come on there and say, Shalom, praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that's it. Or ask a question. But really, you should be asking your husbands at home. He should be. And that's true. Okay, um, that's one of the things that you women should should have as a husband all right and then through your husband then we'll answer your question through your husband but you really should have a husband all right and that's according to scripture now that you're born again when you come into this thing of ours you're born again the first thing you should do is to get a husband have a husband okay you women that talk about i don't need a husband the Heavenly Father is dealing with me directly. You know, you even got certain, certain sisters with the with the title Elder, Daughter of Yahweh. What what the hell is wrong with you? Okay, what do you mean, Daughter of Yahweh? <laughs> Forget Yahweh Shai. You're the Daughter of Yahweh. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, you women, you got to put down your pride, man, and stop with your foolishness, okay? You're the property of man, all right? Furthermore... 
us men can't go to Yahweh. Did not Yahweh Shai say, wait a minute, let me bring out the scripture, man. Let me bring out the scripture. Yahweh Shai said he's the door, right? Let me read it. The day you are talking about, you're the daughter of Yahweh. You can go directly to Yahweh. <laughs> but I tell you, I tell you, man. It is right here, the book of John, the 10th chapter. Beginning at the 8th verse, it says, All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the spirit did not, I'm sorry, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. Clearly you see these words are written in red. So Yahweh Shai is speaking here. He said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. And shall go in and out and find pasture. So there it is. Yahweh Shai is the door. And us men, we got to go through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh. We got to go through the, through the door to get to Yahweh. But here comes you, sister. Something that's so special about you that you can just go to the Heavenly Father. Hence the title, Elder Daughter of Yahweh. <laughs> I'm telling you. You got to put down your pride and stop with your foolishness, man. We're getting to the point where zero tolerance, zero tolerance for your women bullshit, okay? Especially me. I've always been that way, okay? And even more so now, all right? So I got no problem for the elder apostar saying, absolutely. I didn't have no problem when the women were kicked out of the school in Bridgeport, and I certainly don't have no problem now with booting these women off my channel that are unruly, disrespectful, Okay, gainsaying. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Go back to the video. Be asking the questions. Because you women are supposed to have a man. And that's when you know, when you don't have a man and you're a woman of a certain age, you're out of order. And that's so true. You're supposed to have a husband, and that husband is supposed to keep you in check. First of all, that husband. You born again, right? You women, you come into this thing, you're born again. You should have a husband that's in the truth. All right? You should have a husband that's in the truth and that's able to keep you in check. Like the scripture said, if you will learn anything, let ask your husbands at home. Okay? Let's get that. You know, so that's why, see, 1 Peter 4 and 17, that's why the great judgment is coming. And anyone that's not following instructions according to the scriptures, you're just going to be wasted, man. Tell you like it is. Men as well as women. You, you think you women are above being rebuked or above being touched by Yahweh Bashim Yahshua? You better think again, man. Read. You better read Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Many days and years shall ye be troubled. You better, you should, you really should listen to what I'm saying. That's another thing with you, especially you so-called black women. You got a hard time listening, man. What's the scripture I wanted to get? Hopefully it'll come back to me. Yeah, I kind of forgot the scripture I wanted to get. My, 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 my emotion and my anger got the best of me. Anyway, let me get back to the video. It'll come back to me. I remember now. I remember. Let them ask their husbands. So you're supposed to have a husband. It is right here. 1 Corinthians 14 and 34, Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. So it's not our personal opinion, it's the law. It goes back to Genesis 3 and 16. Now here's the point, 35th verse. And if they will learn anything, the big word there is if, if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. So what does that tell you women that have some kind of sense that you're supposed to have a husband? Okay, there's no, there's, there's no solo adventure here. All right? You're supposed to have a husband. Let me say that again for you hard-headed broads. You're supposed to have a husband. 
you're born again, you come into this thing, you know about Israel now, the first thing, the order, first order of the day should be you getting a husband, you finding a husband. And that husband is supposed to teach you and shape you and mold you how you're supposed to be in the truth. And one of the main things is having your mouth shut. Be quiet, okay? That's order. That, 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 that goes back to order, okay? That's why the Apostle Paul said this. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. You really shouldn't be coming on our comment board when you should have a husband, coming on our comment board asking us questions when you should have a husband that's able to answer your questions, that's able to teach you. That's order. Let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame in the sight of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, and the angels, it is a shame for women to speak in the church. There you go. And I'm telling you right now, very soon, the Heavenly Father is going to dispatch the angels, and they're going to bring some serious judgments on you women, man. So when it, when it happens, don't blame me, okay? When it happens, don't come to me, all right? Because we warned you. Ezekiel 3 and 17, we're set up to warn the house of Israel. That includes you women. A lot of you just ain't listening because, of, because that feminism shit got your head gassed up, okay? I'm telling you right now, the so-called white man won't be able to save you from the impending judgment that's going to come upon you for being unruly, for being uh, disrespectful, for being rebellious. Remember, read about Miriam, all right? Read about Miriam, the sister of Moses, and the judgment that she got just for being out of pocket, okay? If you go to 1 Corinthians, the seventh chapter, it speaks about a, a woman being a virgin and remaining a virgin. And that's a uh, certain cases, you know, just like a man not having a woman as Paul was <clears throat> in that spirit. Because the most I put the spirit on him. <clears throat> but you have women. That and a man has that option. He can take a wife or not. There's, there's a thing called eunuchs in the scriptures. Men that have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. But the woman, if she's of a certain age, she's supposed to marry, meaning she's supposed to have a husband. Let's bring in another scripture. The younger women marry. Did not the Apostle Paul say that? Now, if you're an older woman, way up in your age, then we understand that. And you older women tend to be uh, more disciplined than the younger women tend to be, that is, some of you older women, you're nothing but demons too. Here it is right here. First Timothy, the fifth chapter. Oh man, let's get all the meat off that bone. First Timothy 5 and 11. But the younger widows, the younger widows refuse for when they have, for when they have began to be, when they have began to wax wanton, that means undisciplined, against Yahweh Shai, they will marry having damnation because they have cast off their first faith. Now, here's the, here's the point. And withal, they learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house. And not only idle, but tattlers also. And some of you women, you fit that, what, what is being said here. And you know you do. But tattlers also and busybodies. Yeah, causing confusion. Speaking things which they ought not. And then you come on our comment boards and you feel the need to write these long-ass paragraphs, right? Uh, uh, um, broadcasting your discontent. We're not going to tolerate that shit no more. I'm telling you that right now. As soon as we see that shit, we ain't even going to read that shit. We're just going to find your channel, block your ass, and that's it. You keep it moving, okay? We're too close to the end for this bullshit. Let me read that again, the 13th verse. And with all, they learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house, and not only idle, but tattlers also and busybodies, speaking things which they ought not. I will therefore that the younger women marry, they, which means you're supposed to get a husband. You're supposed to have a husband. And, and we're not talking about monkey branching and bed hopping and riding the cock carousel, riding the Israelite cock carousel. We ain't talking about that either. You find a husband, you stay with him through thick and thin, through good times and bad times. Because the scriptures say if you leave your husband, you're supposed to be unmarried. Meaning you can't have no other man while your husband is still alive. The only way you can have another husband in the truth is if your husband pass away. That's the only way you can have another man in the truth. So you, you women, you better know the rules of this game. 
All right. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. You better know the rules of this game. I will therefore that the younger women marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully for some already turned aside after Satan. Now that was written more than 2000 years ago and it said some. So can you imagine now? Mostly all of them have turned aside after Satan. That's why they're so fucking rebellious. And they come on our channel and they, they think it's cute to spread that rebellion. That shit ain't cute. I'm telling you very soon, man. Most I gonna start dropping a lot of you women, man. You're gonna start dropping like flies, man. That judgment's gonna be out here. And the angel of death, he, 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 he got you in his crosshairs, man. And he gonna pay your, your, your stupid ass a visit, okay? You think this is a joke, man? He gonna pay these men a visit. How much more you women, man? Anyway, let me get back to the video. That don't have men, or, or don't have a man, and bring a lot of confusion. Totally out of order. You women, outside of saying Shalom, and maybe asking a basic question, which you should already have the answers because we cover every subject there is. And if you if you got a question, or some man, some individual had already asked that question, and we covered it. And some of you women, you do that shit for attention, all right? We're not simps over here, all right? We don't care how pretty you look. We don't care how good you look. We don't care how big your titties are. We don't care how fat your ass is. If you out of order, damn it, you out of order, and you're going to get booted out, man. I'll tell you that right now, man. We're not, we're not no, and any Israelite man that's a simp in GMS, you're you going to get booted out, man. You're going to get kicked right in the ass spiritually out of this truth, man, because you're a goddamn simp. Most I ain't dealing with no simp, man. Most high raising up men over here. Let me bring in another scripture. Isaiah 46 and 8. Most high ain't raising no goddamn simp. I mean, goddamn, man. We were all simps when we came before we came in the truth. This truth is supposed to take you out of, out of the simp mode. Out of the simp zone. And bring you into the man zone. A certain way a man acts. I'm gonna tell you a secret too. Women, they 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 like real men, okay? They don't like simps. They might kick it with you for a little bit, but after a while, they're going to drop you like a bad habit, man, because you're a fucking simp. Now, if you're a man and you, 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 you state from the, from, the, from the onset, all right, you state from the rip that you ain't going to tolerate no woman's foolishness, then if she stays with you, that means you, you got a real woman, okay? Isaiah 46 and 8. It says, remember this and show yourselves men. What, what the hell do you think that means? That's directed to you Israelite men out there, you real men. Don't, don't be taking no shit off these women. As soon as they get out of order, pounce on them like a lion, man. And I mean spiritually, pounce on them like a lion, all right? Tell them, look, look, woman, you're going off. Be quiet, woman. And, if, if she, and like the scriptures say, if, if, they, if she will not go the way you have her go, give her a bill of divorce, okay? All right, send her packing, all right? I guarantee you when all hell breaks loose, she's going to come back running back to you with her tail between her legs, okay? Begging for you to take her back. Come on, man. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. So that's for you simps out there. And you know who you are. It's time for you to stand up and be men. Let's get back to the video. So a lot of you people just want to be a part of that mix. Well, any woman that says anything outside of shalom and all praise to the Most High or, or praise to that particular elder or that apostle, anything beyond that, beyond a simple question, you they out. They out. Ain't going to be no arguing that's back it. and forth. That's it. And you know, that's really the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yashai coming on Elder Apostle Tal. Like I said, I've seen it before. It's the same spirit he had back at the school in, in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. And he gave the edict, no more women in the school. And you know what that did? That took care of all the confusion that they were bringing into the school. You know, the, the sign of the woman is chaos, man. But if you're a real man, you can control that chaos. Okay? But women, normally, they represent chaos. All right? Going back to their mother, Eve. What did Eve bring? She brought chaos. She brought chaos to Adam, and Adam fell through that chaos, okay?
with you sisters, you women. I'm not even gonna say sisters, I said you women. You got women, you got this one woman that was on uh uh Apostle the Bar's page saying that we're unbalanced. Well look, don't watch our videos. What, what what's wrong with you niggas, huh? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? You come on my, come on our pages, you talk shit. But you keep coming on our pages. Don't come on the page. Don't come on our pages, man. Fuck with IUIC. <laughs> and I said that. I always say that. Go to Nate. You know, he'll take you in. No problem. All right? Because those guys are simps. Go to these other Israelite groups. Go to go to that singing, that singing, uh, uh, that singing moron. What's his name? Elder Rakar of the uh, GOCC, is it? You know, that singing chocolate fairy. Go to him. All right? That big-eyed, bug-eyed wonder. Go to him. He'll take you women in no problem. You, 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 can find, you can find solace. You can find comfort. You can find a sanctuary over there. Go there. Don't come over here. Over here. Real men is over here. We ain't going to be singing and, 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 and rapping to you, all right? That ain't going to happen over here in G GMS, Great Millstone. We're not built like that, all right? Just so you women know, okay? If you want that simp shit... There's plenty of other Israelite camps you can go to and, and, and take in that simp shit. Okay? There's a scripture I want to bring out. Yeah, it just came to me. Anyway, let me move on. You know, fuck with Captain Desire Act. They like that <laughs> shit. Because <laughs> we're coming to a point where we're going we to not, not have no woman on this thing. Well, like I said, I'll say it again. I've seen it before. The school in Bridgeport. Pastor gave the edict, man. No more women in the school, period. And that took care of the confusion. All right? There's a scripture where it says, cast out the scorner. There's a lot of you women are by, by nature are scorners. Let's get that. Cast out the scorner. You think we playing around here? We ain't playing, man. <laughs> you think we bullshitting? You must don't know us. <laughs> like Bugs Bunny used to say, he don't know me very well, do he? <laughs> My man, Bugs Bunny. Proverbs 22 and 10, it says, cast out the scorner and contention shall go out. See? Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. And that's what a lot of you women come with. You come with scorning, contention, strife and reproach, man. We just ain't going to take it no more. Okay? So, like I said, concerning me, as soon as I see you coming with that bullshit, man, I'm going to find your channel, block that shit, and uh, you're you going to keep it moving. Okay? You're going to have to create another channel and come with that shit. And I find that channel, I'll block it again. All right? As simple as that. Let's get back to the video. And, and, and the problem is you men. Oh, well, yeah. Sense. You men that have certain positions, you supposed to check all, check them, check all this f foolishness and this goddamn confusion, man. And that's a, uh, that's a warning through the spirit to all you Israelite men in all the camps all across the world. Zero tolerance for a woman's bullshit, man. Zero tolerance. We got to send a strong message to these women that we're above you. You're not above us. We're above you. And you're going to dance to our tune. All right. For the last 50 years. Due to feminism, we've been dancing to your tune, the feminism of the so-called white man. No, this is, this is a new time period, all right? You're going to dance to our tune, or you're going to get lost. It's as simple as that. Are you guys that are not growing, don't be surprised if we tell you, look, you're out the camp. Well, the scriptures say grow in the grace. That's one of my favorite scripture. We're supposed to grow in this thing, grow in the grace and knowledge. Let's get that. I think that's, it, it, since it's my favorite, it should be 1 Peter 3 and 18. Spirit's telling me go there. Hold up. Hold up. 1 Peter 3 and 18. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see if I got that right. 1 Peter 3 and 18. Let me see if I'm correct. Okay. I guess I'm not correct. All right, no problem. I'll find it. But growing, or is it First Peter three and eight? Nope. 
grow in grace. Let me get that. Grow in grace. Grow in grace. Second Peter 3 and 18. <laughs> I was close, but not close enough. See, we got to be perfect around here. Uh, 2 Peter 3 and 18, and that's directed to you men. You just heard the Elder Pastor Harkers. You guys know who you are. You ain't growing in this thing. You're like a stagnant pond when you're supposed to be a, a flowing river of living water. You ain't nothing but a goddamn stagnant pond. Well, there you go. This is the scripture for you. 2 Peter 3 and 18, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. To him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. Which means, so let it be. There you go. That says it all. Anyway, Apostle Elitar is about to go into another topic. So, I'm going to end the video there. Hopefully, you brothers were edified. And I'll see you in the next video. Shalom for now. <laughs>